Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting up a little bit closer because I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial today. I picked up some new makeup products and I wanted to share with you my thoughts on them, give you a little demo. So let's get started. I am going to, um, foundation, not new. I'm still using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish, what is it called? My airbrush, um, the Flawless Foundation, which I really, really love. And my beauty blender is way too wet. <laughs> Didn't bother squeezing it out. I was like water all over my um, table here. Okay. And, but I do have some new concealers that I will be sharing with you. So one of them is the Hourglass one, which many of you have been asking me to give my thoughts on. So I will do that. All right, let's first start with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Foundation. I wear the shade three neutral. Love it, love it, love it. It is a great match, good color, good coverage. Um, I'm actually gonna stay away from my under eye area. That way we can, um, I can show you the concealer. You can really get a good idea for how it's gonna look. All right, let me finish putting on my foundation and then we'll come back and we will go through concealer. Okay, moving on to concealer. So I picked up the Hourglass Concealer in the shade Cream. And also I picked up the Becca. Um, I, I don't know, whatever this is called, what is it? The Light Shifter Brightening Concealer. Now I have tried this, so let me first put this on because it's really, really light. <laughs> like a little bit of nothing. And um, okay, so it literally gives like, I'm gonna do a one eye and then the other eye will have the other one. It'll be a little crazy, but it'll be okay. Okay. It's very, very sheer, very, um, kind of has like a little bit of a shimmer to it, but, doesn't give a lot of coverage, I have to say. And I tried layering it over my foundation. I didn't really love that either. It just wasn't, I don't know, it felt like it moved things around and it it, it just really didn't do anything for me. Um, I, if you don't wear a lot of makeup, I think this may be a good option, but I like a, a significant coverage foundation. So a concealer like that is, just seems pointless to me. This is the um, Hourglass one, and I was really, I mean, a lot of people said it gives a lot of coverage, and it does, but I don't feel that it gives the same coverage as my Too Faced, I will say, surprisingly. My Too Faced concealer really gives a lot of coverage. This is nice. Um, I'm gonna put some over here because this eye is like <laughs> looking weird with just that um, Becca concealer. Um, it, I feel like it gives really good coverage. A lot of people said it dries down very, very quickly. So you have to work fast. I haven't found that. I actually feel it to be quite creamy. And um, you know, I have time to work with it. But uh, the color's nice. And I don't have anything really, I mean, it, it doesn't crease, lasts all day. I don't find that it's, um, makes my under eye area look dry or anything. I've been liking it. That's all I have right now. That's all you got. I just, uh, I like it. It didn't wow me like the Too Faced did. I'm gonna put a little bit here. I don't always do that, but I don't know. Feeling like doing it today. Kind of brighten up that area so you can really get some, um, see how it wears on the skin. Um, it hasn't like wowed me to the, it didn't replace my Too Faced, but uh, I do like it. So we'll, we'll stick with that. Said so it lasts all day, doesn't crease, the color seems to be great. Um, not as much coverage to me as the Too Faced. That's just, I don't know what magic they have in there, but it is quite amazing. All right, moving on to eyeshadow. I picked up the Chanel, um, Premier Lac um, eyeshadow in, this one is in Quartz Rose. It looked a little bit more shimmery champagne online and it's really, really pink. So um, the formula is very beautiful. 
I do not like the color at all. <laughs> it's, it's not for me. It's, uh, oops. it's pretty. Um, I think if you like pink shades, like kind of a petally pink on the lid, it, this will definitely be for you. Um, I do not. And I like, I don't mind warm shades on the eye, but I do not like pink shades. So this was a little disappointing. Really, um, blends beautifully, gives a nice shimmer to the eye, kind of has like a wet feeling at first, but does dry down nicely. I don't find that it creases at all. And yeah, it's a really, really beautiful, beautiful formula. If only I liked the color. So I have to go back online and see if there's any other colors that I like. However, I think it's really, it's a beautiful formula. Um, yeah, it, but the pink is, uh, it's not for me. Um, all right, moving on. You want to do my brows, right? Something like my teeth, I'm like trying to get it out. Let me do my brows. We'll come back and I'll show you the new mascara that I've been testing that, that by far, a lot of you have asked me about the Hourglass um, concealer, but more of you have been asking me about the Fenty Beauty mascara. So I'll be right back with that. I'm back, finished my brows. I think I went a little bit um, heavier on my brows than I normally do, but whatever. Uh, always my Hourglass brow pencil, which I love. I'm just using a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in shade number two, just through my T-zone. Um, I like to just kind of use it to set the T-zone area. A little bit under there. And I have it in the Charlotte Tilbury palette. Just still love so much. All right, mascara, Fenty Beauty. Let's first take a look at the brush. It's like skinny on one side, flat, skinny, really kind of different. Well, um, <laughs> like, well, I like it. I don't love it. It just doesn't give me, it really fans out your lashes nicely. Really like fans them out nicely. Just one coat. Fans them out nicely. Sorry, that was like a really close up shot. <laughs> um, which is nice. Uh, it doesn't get as thick as I want, but that could just be because it's not, sometimes I find mascaras get thicker the longer that I use them. So like if they're exposed to air as I'm like, you know, using them every day, air gets in and it gets thicker, the formula gets thicker. I find that. That's two coats. It's nice. nice nicely fanned out. It really helps to lengthen, it does volume, it does give a lot of volume. I just want the formula to be a little bit, I don't know, I like the formula to be thick, almost clumpy-like, because I like really dramatic, slightly spidery lashes. Not, I mean, you guys see me all the time, so it's not like, un, like yucky spider lashes, but I like a dramatic lash. Probably because I don't do a lot with my makeup, um, but, okay, so I like it. My only complaint is it does deposit little bits. And I don't like that up on my brow bone. So, mm, and it does smudge under here, but all mascara is smudge under there for me because just the way my eyes are shaped, I've tried every trick in the book. I know every trick in the book and nothing works. So um, yeah, it leaves little bits up there and that's a little annoying. However, my lashes are naturally like really curled and they almost touch the top of my brow bone. Uh, so I find that I get that with a lot of mascaras. That's not a total deal breaker for me, but I did notice it more with this one than some other formulas that I have. So that was a kind of like a, you know, a negative, like a negative point in, um, how I was scoring it. But, uh, overall I like it and I'm going to keep it and keep using it and seeing if I like it more as time goes on. Let me finish the other eye so you can see both eyes completed and then we'll move on to cheeks. I just applied some of the um, contour powder here from the Charlotte Tilbury um, cheek palette because the highlighter that I have, um, I'm gonna put, I don't have like a bronze or anything to share. I picked up also from Chanel this new highlighter. It is the Eclat du Desert uh, Illuminating Powder. 
a little pinky. Not crazy pinky, but slightly pinky. So I've kind of been just using it all over my cheeks, like a little bit on the um, cheekbone and on the cheeks. So, because it has some pink to it. It's not like a really a champagne-y highlighter. Hmm. Formula is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Put a little bit of my eyes. I mean, listen, I, I, you know, the more I look at my eye makeup, I'm sure many of you will be like, oh, I like it. It's really pretty. It's it, but it's just, it's not what I love. Um, and that's hard, you know, I, I enjoy it, but especially for Chanel prices, I want to love the eyeshadow color. If it was like, you know, five bucks, I'd be like, oh, I'll, I'll try some pink for the spring, but, uh, it's not. So this definitely is, you know, this gives you a bold highlight. Yeah, that's a, that's a strong highlight. But pretty. The formula is really beautiful. Um, the color is okay. I tend to like more of a champagne highlighter rather than something with so much pink or peach to it. But it's it's nice. And the formula is really beautiful. But I went a little heavy over here. Let me just uh, blend that out. It's, you can go too heavy with this, I will say. It's uh, a strong bold highlight but it looks beautiful on the eyes I really like using it on the eyes now for the cheeks I am gonna use this color from the RMS Beauty sensual skin trio there is a blush a highlighter and a bronzer bronzer is quite dark I've actually been liking it in my eyes but and the highlighter is a little bold for me but the blush color is it's such a me color it's like a bright um, pink which I love especially for the spring and it just like a little bit goes a long way there's a lot of color to this um, blush so I just dab it in and it's even probably a little bit too much and see the thing is so with the um, Chanel highlighter and then this blush I just feel like my cheeks are way too pink for me they're a little too like I would want more of a champagne highlighter to balance out the pink blush, and I think it's just a little too much. Let's put a little bit of concealer around my nose. But you see how the um, RMS blush, just like a little pop, like a poppy color. No, it's perfect for spring though. Like a nice pink, bright blush for spring. Love it, love it, love it. And very pigmented, lasts all day, only need a small amount. But like I said, paired with the Chanel highlighter, I feel like my cheeks are, are too pink. And that's not um, what I love. So I know my, I, my reviews of everything today are kind of like meh. It's not like I love or hate anything. It's just not wowing me. You know, I really, I'm going to keep the Hourglass Concealer because I want to work with it some more and I'm really enjoying it. The Fenty Mascara as well, because um, I am enjoying it. The Chanel Highlighter, I'm on the fence about because it is more pink than I would use. Um, and I feel like I want to use it on my face rather than just on my eyes. I love the RMS Beauty um, palette. Uh, the other two colors I've been using more on my eyes, but that pink cheek color, I really, really love this Chanel eye color, I just don't love it. Mm. So that's it. That's all I have today. <laughs> just gonna put on my lips and my Kylie lip liner, which I still love and cannot get enough of. And then throw on my NYX Lingerie Gloss in Spirit and I'm all done. Love this color. These two are loves and not new. I bought them last year and still love it. You know, this is a great spring look. It's very pink. It's very pastel like, soft, um, really pretty. So, hope I answered some questions you had about some of these hot items. I know, like I said, I got a lot of requests for it. Mm, not gonna listen to my teeth. Can you not get listen to your teeth, Mary? I don't know. Can I? the Hourglass Concealer and the Fenty uh, Mascara. So happy to give you my thoughts on those and I will link everything I talked about down below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care, bye-bye.